Hi everyone. Today I would like to tell you the story of a process that will allow us to get more food without using more resources. So, I'm pretty sure most of you have heard or know about canola. But if I mention canola, the first thing that comes into your mind might be cooking oil. Well, what if I tell you that we can also get protein for canola? So if we look at that slide, we can see that it has a high content of oil, but we also have almost 30% of protein. Unfortunately, in the current processes for oil extraction, most of that protein goes to waste. So after extraction, the meal that is left over, at best, sometimes it's used as a feed for cows, okay? Well, why only for cows? Well, we cannot use it for other animals. Also, in the composition, we have that the whole, which is the external shell of the seed, is mainly fiber. So it has lots of fiber that cannot be digested by other animals that are not ruminants. So, well, but now, what if, can, what if we can get rid of that shell? What if we can remove that fiber, and then we can use the canola seed also to feed poultry, swine, fish, or with more refinery, even humans like right? That would be a great idea. So my project is based on trying to find the best way or the best process to remove that hole from the seeds. It is challenging for sure because of the characteristics of the seeds. You can see the seeds are very small. They are about one millimeter, two millimeters in size. They are round. And there is a very tight connection between the kernel, which is the yellow area, and the hole, right? So the process that we are working on, that we are proposing, is based in two steps. The first is called preconditioning, where we do some uh, thermal treatment into the seed so that we can create some gaps between uh, the, the, the hole and the kernel. And this is a picture, this is an x-ray, and we can see at the bottom there is a gap that didn't exist before. So with that way, after creating those gaps, we can apply some mechanical forces to somehow break the, curve, break the hole without damaging the kernel, and that way we don't have oil losses. So with that, my research is focused on trying to find the best method, the best way to remove that hole, to produce high quality meals that can be used to produce more protein that at the end will be translated into more food for humans. Thank you so much.